What is going on guys, it's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So if you guys watched the previous video, which I highly recommend, you will know that I have a bunch of JDM goodies that I have stocked up over the past few months while I was waiting for this car, my Mitsubishi Lancer Turbo Built, to come back home. So some brands that I've stocked up are parts like Voltex, ARC, Varys, Rays. So yeah, some really good like JDM brands if you guys know any of those brands. Um, so today I'll be starting off small, I'll be throwing on some simple mods onto this car. So like I said, I've been just stockpiling parts for quite a while, quite a few months while I was in the shop. Um, I have one over here, this is the Voltex Nardi steering wheel. I'm still going to wait on this one, as much as I want to throw it on the car ASAP. Um, I already do have the works bell tilt hub, sorry, I do have the works bell short hub but not the tilt hub, so I'm still waiting for that. I haven't actually purchased one yet. Um, and then we have a bunch of other parts over here as well. So like I said, today I'm going to start off doing the small stuff. Uh, let's see, we'll do some interior mods today, how about that? So we'll throw on this Broadway wide angle mirror. That should look pretty cool. Let's do a shift knob mod as well. So if you guys watched my previous video, you will know that I have three different shift knobs, brand new. So let me just take them all out, lay them out here. Stashing up JDM parts for days. <laughs> so again, the first one I had was this right here, the Chasing J's titanium shift knob. And then we also have the Varys carbon fiber shift knob. Beautiful shift knob. And then lastly, we have the ARC titanium shift knob. So I am more towards the Varys shift knob just because I have carbon fiber in my interior and I don't have any titanium in the interior. I have a bunch of titanium in the engine bay, but you know, I don't want to throw it off. Plus, with the titanium, it's just super cold. Um, during summer, it gets super hot. Right now, it's winter season, it's pretty cold. Uh, but for the sake of this video, I just throw on all three. We'll probably do the Broadway mirror first and then throw on these shift knobs and uh, we'll see how each one looks. All right, so let's go ahead and get in the car. This uh, carbon fiber various wing will be going away pretty soon. So we'll have a separate video taking that off. And then like I said, I'll probably rock the duckbill setup for just a while before we throw on the Voltex wing. If you guys are wondering, this is the Voltex Type 4. On the back, we have that box there. I know it says Jay's Racing. It is actually another Voltex wing for my next build. <laughs> so I haven't even got the next build yet. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be stashed back there for a while. So let's go ahead and enter the interior of my Mitsubishi Lancer GT. Um, as you can tell, I have a bunch of custom upgraded interior already. So pretty much nothing on this car is untouched. Whether it's my exterior, my interior, my engine bay, um, everything is just done up since it's my show car. So let's go ahead and put on the Broadway mirror first because that's the easiest thing to do is literally a clip on mirror here. So if you look, it's kind of hard to see, but with the stock mirror, it's just kind of small. You can only see like three quarters of the rear windshield. This wide angle mirror allows me to see the whole thing. And you guys will see in a minute here, it's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, I do have them on my Civic SI and my RSX. I have the $10 Walmart special, not the actual Broadway JDM mirrors. They work the same. And this one has a blue tint to it. So what the blue tint does, they do come in just your normal one and the blue tint version. The blue tint actually, I haven't had it before, but apparently, um, you know, when you drive at night, sometimes it's really bright. You know, you see headlights behind you and there's a lot of glare. So what the blue tint does is it reduces the glare. And then with the Broadway mirrors, you can also get it in a convex style um, and in different sizes. So this one I got is a 300 millimeter. I think it comes in like 270, 300, 400. So hopefully this one fits pretty good. And here's a closer look at the Broadway mirror. This is my first one. I don't know why I didn't pick one up earlier. I keep thinking it's pretty expensive for like, you know, a high price. That's why I went with the Walmart $10 special. They pretty much work the same, but it's just cool that this is from Japan, JDM. Um, yeah, it's just super cool. Even if you're a non-car enthusiast, I definitely recommend this just because it definitely gives you a wider angle. 
So let's go ahead and take it out of the box and just slap it on. Like I said, it's literally a clip on to your existing side mirror. If you want to take it off, you just take it right off. You don't have to remove it or anything like that. And no tools needed, so that's awesome. So here it is, my Broadway mirror. Like I said, on the back, it literally clips on. So all you got to do is just pull this and clips right on. So yeah, let me just slap it on. Two second install. So bam, super easy install. So I'm not sure if you guys can see, I can definitely see the whole entire rear windshield this time. Uh, and besides that, through the rear view mirror, I can even see right there, that's part of my back window over there. So super wide angle. Um, and this size is the 300 millimeter. If you guys are wondering, I got it in the blue tin and the flat face. I didn't get the convex. So yeah, you can get it online pretty cheap. Okay, so the next thing we have here are my three shift knobs, my ARC titanium shift knob, the various carbon fiber shift knob, and the Chasing J's titanium shift knob. Um, I'll just go ahead and try them out one by one, and you guys tell me what you guys think. So currently I have this shift knob here. This is a Katana Samurai Sword shift knob. Um, I've had this on for a couple of years actually. It's pretty good, pretty much ties in with the whole theme on my car. You know, has the gold, gold, red, and black accents, which the entire interior of my car has. So definitely ties in with all that. Um, but yeah, super easy to ins uninstall it. Pretty much, I just turn it left way. So lefty Lucy, super easy uninstall. And then to install, you just righty tidy, super easy. Um, whenever you get these shift knobs, they are pretty much universal. So what that means is it could fit any car. It's not just a Mitsubishi. I could throw it on my Honda Civic Si, my RSX, any car. Um, the main difference is the size. So whenever you buy shift knobs, some of them come with like different fitting size or different thread pitch. So that's pretty important. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and screw this Samurai shift knob and slip one of them on, show you guys how they look. Alright, so just like that, Samurai shift knob comes right off. Like I said, oh, it's pretty cool. I never actually look underneath. It's kind of like a gold dragon. I believe this was actually a birthday present from my brother, like maybe three years back. So I had this on the car for a while now. Probably going to keep this. Super cool. Uh, and then, like I said... I do have this little thing right here. Whenever I, the summer shift not came, I just it came just so you know I could throw this on the thread pitch um, just to make sure it matches. So I'm gonna try on this one first. I'm gonna do the Chasing J's titanium shift knob. So again, my uh, fiance got this for me for my birthday last year. I haven't actually threw it on any car yet. It's pretty nice has a nice weighted feel to it and this is real titanium by the way this is not like you know just the color or anything um, raw titanium comes in silver and they they just burnt it to uh, you know have this nice uh, rainbow look and what's really cool as well is on the top it does have some engravings if I can get my camera to focus so here's the engravings it just says uh, chasing J's on there so yeah let me go ahead and throw this on See how it looks. Bam, so here you have it. What do you guys think? Is that a yes or a no? What I'll probably do is, let me go ahead and do some B-roll, quick cinematic shot of each one. And then you guys should leave in the comment section below which shift knob do you think suits it better.
All right, so on to the next one. Let me go ahead and throw on the various carbon fiber shift knot for a change. I'm gonna take a little break from titanium stuff. So really nice. Like I said, this is the box it came with. Various carbon fiber knob. Um, nice little packaging. And there's a few different versions of the various shift knob. I'm not exactly sure which version this one is, but I bought it maybe, I wanna say like, towards uh, fall 2020 this carbon fiber red i know some of them come with like blue black different colors i wanted the red trimming on it so pretty nice it says various on there and then also has various uh model which says look in the future technology so yeah pretty nice and then on this silver part right here it also says various engraved on it so uh let's throw it on let's see what's here. oh over here so with the various shift knob, they also gave me a few different fittings. Um, so like I said, if they don't fit, you can just switch out the different fittings. They're just plastic fittings that pretty much go up here. So here's a closer look at the different fittings. Actually upon, you know, closer inspection, I noticed that on the inside of the various shift knob, there's no thread pitch. So most shift knobs have a thread pitch. Um, it does come with these different fittings and all these fittings does have a thread pitch so what you want to do is just put it here and see if it fits so this one doesn't fit it's too loose you move on to the next one so you just do this trial and error process to find one that fits and then once it fits you just insert this black fitting inside the shift knob all right so i found the one that fits right here so like i said you put it on so you put it on just like a shift knob make sure it's nice and tight righty tighty you can eat either uh, put it onto the other side of the shift knob first. In my case, I prefer to do it like this. Get it nice and tight, and then I can just insert the shift knob. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is how the various carbon fiber shift knob fits. I actually like it. Just a very simple, plain design. One thing I did notice, so you see there's these two red lines. It kind of matches the red stitching of my shift boot so that's pretty cool um yeah i feel like and then there's a bunch of carbon fiber stuff in my interior as well so i think it'll go really well with it um i'll probably rock this one but i just want to throw in the last arc one just to see so let me do a quick cinematic of this shift knob as well So underneath this, one thing I also noticed, which I never saw before, was uh, it comes with this Allen key as well as uh, some fittings, I'm guessing to put on the side to make it nice and tight. And then also has some instructions in Japanese, of course, because this is a various shift knob, which is a Japanese brand. So yeah, pretty awesome. So we have the last shift knob we're going to try on, which is some ARC. So this is a titanium shift knob as well. The main difference is this one has a mirror finish versus the other Chasing Jace one is not as shiny. It's not a bad thing, but this one is more like a raw titanium finish. This one is almost more like a, a mirror polish finish. So you can see the reflections. Uh, super nice piece. The only thing is I feel like number one, I don't have any titanium bits in my interior. Secondly, with the mirror finish, I feel like it might scratch pretty easily. It'll show. Um, I don't know. Let's just throw it on and see how it looks. Just look how pretty this ARC titanium shift knob is. To me, this is more like a nice collection piece. On the back, it has like the serial number and stuff in Japanese. And <laughs> fun fact, this actually is a little bit smaller than I thought it would be. I've seen a bunch of photos um, and yeah, it's pretty small. But the mirror finish on this thing is amazing. It's just super nice super mirror polished and here we have the arc titanium shift knob so like i said really beautiful piece uh only thing is like i said with the mirror finish i'm just afraid it scratches pretty easily um and if i leave any thumbprints it'll show right away uh i also do wish that it said arc on the knob itself which it didn't so this is an authentic you know arc shift knob but you just don't really see arc engraved anywhere on the knob itself um, except for on the box, so yeah. All 
All right, so you guys saw all three shift knobs. Well, I should say all four shift knobs because the first samurai sword one counts as a shift knob as well. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the samurai shift knob? Do you guys like the Chasing J titanium shift knob? Do you guys like the carbon fiber various shift knob? Or do you guys like the titanium ARC shift knob? <laughs> so let me know in the comment section below. Comment which is your favorite shift knob. Um, like I said, nothing wrong with this old shift knob. I'll probably just keep it for memory's sake. Um, it's just that, you know, it's been a while. I just want to switch it out to a different setup. Uh, I'm really leaning more towards the various shift knob just because this carbon fiber has red accents and I have a bunch of carbon fiber and red accents in my interior of the car. Um, that doesn't mean I'm going to sell the other two shift knobs as of right now. Uh, the Chasing J's Titanium Shift Knob was a gift from a fiancé, so I'm not going to sell that away. And then for the ARC Shift Knob, it's more like, it's so pretty, it's more like a collector's piece. And if you guys are wondering for price, so let's start with the first one, the Chasing J's Titanium Shift Knob. This one, I got it, uh, I think, well, I shouldn't say I got it, my fiancé got it for me. I think it was right around close to 150 US dollars, that's how much this one cost. And then the next one would be the Various Carbon Fiber Shift Knob. This one costs right around 250 US dollars. And then we have the ARC Titanium Shift Knob. This one, I say, costs right around 250 US dollars as well. With ARC parts, they fluctuate in price. Sometimes they go up if they're discontinued. This one is still in production, but I've seen it go for about 300 US dollars as well. So, yeah. All of them are pretty nice shift knobs, but I'll probably just throw on the various carbon fiber shift knob. Let me know what you guys think. So there we have it. We have my carbon fiber various shift knob all installed. What do you guys think? Like I said, I think it definitely ties in really well with my black leather shift boot with the rate stitching. I switched it out this aftermarket as well. Almost nothing in this car is starting to be OEM. Um, yeah, I know some of you guys really like my interior of the car. I did an uh, interior video talking about what's been done to the interior a few years ago. I might do an update on it pretty soon. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Leave it in the comment section below. Um, I still have a few more stuff I want to do to the interior. Like I said, we also have the Works Bell uh, Shot Harp that I'll release. And then also the Tilt Harp from uh, Works Bell that I want to put on as well as my new steering wheel from Voltex. So quite a few small little stuff. And then right here I have a roll bar in the back. Eventually I'm thinking I might want to put a roll cage as well. So a few subtle stuff that I want to change out. Um, but I'm pretty excited. Let me know what you guys think. Again, starting with the really small mods, we threw on the Broadway wide angle mirror today as well as the various carbon fiber shift knob. And if you guys made it this far into the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Again, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet, hit the subscribe and notification bell so you know when new videos are out. Um, I do have a bunch more parts I'll be putting on this car. We also have more parts going on my Civic Si and possibly changing up the look on my DC5 RSX as well because I picked up a new hobby. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys are excited, make sure to hit notification bell if you want to be notified every single time I upload. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.